fellowship and celebration of faith aren't just confined to church services only. They can also be a part of a collective effort in social services, like the 5th Annual Focus Faith-Based Symposium held at the Suncoast Cathedral. The yearly symposium highlights the collaborative efforts of both faith-based ministries and social service agencies. Through sharing of knowledge, communication, and live music, those in attendance learn how to revitalize under-resourced neighborhoods and explore ways in which to make a difference. Today we're having the fifth annual Focus Symposium, bringing together the faith community and social service agencies from around Pinellas County. We're going to have some great speakers, including five congregations who are working with social service agencies, showing how people can get involved. It's really about getting the community together in the faith-based world to really talk about the needs of our community. We try to raise awareness about the need for the churches to help or the faith base to step up and help us out. One child, one champion, one prayer. That's really what it's about today, to pray for kids. Well, I'm excited about the fact that there's an opportunity to not only share what we've been able to, to accomplish with our men and women in the making program, but to also how we can really get the faith community to make connections and bring their ministries outside the four walls of their buildings and congregations. Following the opening prayer, Pastor Bill Lasasso sets the stage for the morning speakers. FOCUS stands for Family-Oriented Concepts Unified to Serve, and it started formally about seven years ago as spurred on by the Juvenile Welfare Board. Today you're going to hear from some major players in the county that are doing powerful things, huge things, working with agencies. And the thing that we want to really get across to you is that you can join them. Your church can join them. You can join them as an individual. Let's welcome from the governor's office, Zachary Gibson. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So uh, yesterday, I had the opportunity to talk to a lot of kids. It was great. I love talking to kids um, because I don't get that opportunity much anymore. Um, so every opportunity I have, I want to engage them to really hear what do they have to say. What are their ideas? What is their input? And I hope each of us takes the time to listen to our youth, to our families, about what they want. And right now, I get to introduce the lady who's behind making all this happen. Let's welcome Dr. Marcy Dillon. I can't tell you how great it is to be invited to speak. Now more than ever, it's important that we do things together. There isn't a better partnership, folks, than to work with our churches, work with at synagogues, mosques, our faith community. They were the original social workers. When things happened, families then and now go to their pastors. What they need is someone to listen to them, someone to know who they are, someone that can help them do the things that they need to do to take care of themselves, take care of their families. The faith community now and always have been a safety net. They have always been there for people who are, who are in need. In sponsoring this event, which helps to connect so many faith-based leaders in the community for the benefit of Pinellas County's children and families, the Florida Dream Center, Juvenile Welfare Board, and Eckerd Connects Community Alternatives successfully work together in hopes that we can truly attain real results today for a hopeful tomorrow.